Are you feeling okay? Are you comfortable? Good. Just getting my tools ready over here on the side. It's been a really busy day today here in the clinic. But you are my last, um, you are my last patient, so that's good. gonna put this around you, okay? You don't want a lot of water splashing all over your clothes, so I'm gonna make sure that you're well protected. Here we go. ask you a few questions. Just tell me as honestly as possible your answers. All right. Has there been any changes to your health? No? Okay. Any new medications that you're taking? No? Okay. drinking any tea or coffee lately? Some coffee? Okay. And how often do you drink coffee? Every morning. Do you drink it black? Looks like we already did x-rays last time, so we won't have to do it this time, all right? Any developments with your teeth that I should know about? Any toothaches, cavities that you've noticed, or any pain whatsoever? Okay, a little bit of a toothache. On what side of the jaw? Over here on the, the right side. Gonna bring the light a little bit closer. Let me know if you feel any discomfort at all. It's not too bright, so you won't be needing any goggles today. And you're welcome to close your eyes at any time. Okay. That should be sufficient lighting. So I'm just going to take a look inside, alright? Please open up your mouth wide. Okay. Hmm. Just looking at the bottom inside at the moment. Okay. 
You said it was your right jaw that's causing you problems. Set of teeth. Okay, so you draw again. Okay. Just checking the integrity of your gums as well, and if there's any bleeding or gingivitis. like there's a little bit of air. Okay. And uh, how often do you brush your teeth a day? Twice a day, morning and night. Good. Good. What about flossing? You don't floss. Definitely one of the harder habits to get accustomed to, isn't it? But it is a very important habit for the world house. Okay. I'm also going to do a quick check of your tongue and surrounding areas. All right. Also looks nice and pink as well. It's just the gums that are a little bit red in certain places. Okay. Let me know if you feel any discomfort at all. It's important for me to know if you feel any pain. There might be a signs of cavities there. The very back where your wisdom teeth are. Yeah. Very troublesome spot. I'm gonna have to let the dentist take a look at that later, okay? And see what she thinks. Definitely has a better grasp with this than I do, but uh, I also have a lot of experience. I'm going to be doing some flushing of your teeth first, and then I'll do some scaling, all right? So there's going to be some water coming out. Welcome to swallow at any time, all right? I can 
also see that your lips are a little bit chapped. Do you mind if I put a little bit of ointment on it? Okay. We don't use Vaseline here. We tend to stick with the more natural, petroleum-free version. Is that okay with you? Good. Just gonna apply this to your mouth. There you go. Perfect. How are you feeling so far? Great. Okay. I'm going to start doing a little bit of scaling. Alright. Let me know if you ever feel any pain, tenderness, or any sensitivity. I can definitely refine my approach. clean my scaler as I go. And make sure that I'm being absolutely gentle with you because I don't need to feel any sensitivity at all. Okay. So I want you to let me know. So A sort of normal residue, everyday residue that needs to be brushed or flossed off. Okay. Um, and if you don't take it off, then it'll end up hardening and becoming black, which we don't want to see. That black is definitely a lot harder to get off, and ultimately, that's a dental hygienist's job. We need a break at all. So there's a little bit more stubborn. I'm gonna have to flush it again later. Perhaps even show you how to floss. Generally normal black buildup is fairly easy to get off. Just 
things that are going to happen to you. There's another large piece right there. Just gonna help me with the other side there. Or this side doesn't look too bad. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad in the front. The back is where we see a lot of. The pack built up because again, it must be hard to it must be hard to reach for you. Mm -hmm. Overall, I'd say our teeth aren't that bad compared to a lot of the other patients. So oral health is actually more important than a lot of people realize. Do you know why? Only part of the reason for sure. Having a nice smile and everything, but it can also affect chronic diseases. So, for instance, if you don't maintain good oral hygiene, then you can have infections in your mouth, and the infections can actually spread to other parts of the body. for example. Endocardium of the heart is actually very susceptible. Did you know that? That's right. Endocardium is, is a potential consequence. Not to scare you or anything. But just in terms of education. Does help with uh, bad breath, which you don't seem to have, so don't worry. Or just overall having a nice smile, like you said. Side looks pretty good. And over to your left side, okay. This 
This one's especially stubborn, it seems. There we go. Don't mind, I'm gonna start working on your upper set of teeth. Can you please open up really, really wide? A little bit sticky. There you go. Cleaning teeth is honestly kind of a work for it. Everyone has their own technique. It takes a lot of practice to be able to really hone in the technique. quite fun sometimes, I think. Yeah, it's really interesting seeing the befores and afters, and kind of seeing how their teeth are able to transform by the Sense I'm very 
focused and yet it's almost like a meditation. That's a strange thing to say. Are you feeling relaxed? Good. Hello, hello, hello. a little. Here's the last uh, tooth I want to work on here. And then we'll get to some flushing and some polishing. And how is your sugar intake? some New Year's resolutions. <laughs> it's overrated. I can see that. Good. Open up your mouth a little bit wider and we'll go to the top. Good. Good. I'm just going to switch to my polishing tool. Strawberry? What would you prefer? Strawberry. It does taste quite good. It looks like strawberry jam kind of does that, but uh, what polishing does actually helps to prevent staining.
close your mouth now. Does that taste good? <laughs> I know. Okay. So, my work is done, but I am going to call the dentist, Dr. Sumita, to come on over and take a look at that cavity. looking over your file here and it looks like you have some jaw pain right down there. Is that right? Okay, let me take a look, alright? I'm just going to set this to the side. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. You can head home now. Don't worry about me. I'll take care of the rest, okay? Bye now. Alright, let me take a look at your teeth. So just open up wide for me. Good, very good. Okay, let's see. Looking good there, nice and polished and ready to go. What a beautiful white smile. And it was down here that was bothering you, wasn't it? Let me take a look here. Oh, I see. Definitely see a little bit of black cavity going on. It is that painful at all? A little bit? Okay. Yeah, it does look like you have a cavity. Um, but don't worry, we can definitely have the receptionist book another appointment with you, and we'll take care of your cavity next time, okay? Alright, no problem. Otherwise, I'm going to take a look at the top teeth as well. Just open up wide. Good. Very good. Okay, the rest looks just fine and beautiful. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Looks like Sarah did a great job with you, as always. She is one of my favorite dental hygienists. She does a great job every single time. Yeah, that's right. What's that? Oh, she's just, she's a very good person, I assure you. She's very focused on the job, that's all. Yeah, people tend to say I'm a lot nicer than her, but, you know, she's nice too, isn't she? Yeah. So I am going to send you home with a toothbrush, alright? And um, lots of companies come to us and give us free samples which are great for the patients but you know the ulterior motive is that they're trying to sell you things so. sorry for being very blunt but um, it's good for you guys in the sense that uh, you get to bring some free stuff home all right we have a few things Yeah, I can also show you how to floss since uh, I let Sarah go home early. She has a early flight to catch tomorrow. That's right, she's going all the way home to uh, Nova Scotia. Yes, yes, Nova Scotia, Canada. That's right, that's right. Yes, I'm just quite a country girl, you know. Alright, in terms of toothbrushes. I have three to show you. Okay. Here's a pretty standard Oral B toothbrush. Um, it has uh, two X cleaning zones, whatever that means, and cavity defense, apparently, which I mean, probably would help you. What do you think of this one? It's a blue color and 
and green little bristles there. It's all plastic though. So that's option number A. Okay. Option B. Apparently it's also Oral B, which says that it's the number one recommended brand by dentists worldwide. Who knows if that's true or not. And uh, it's a nice green color with purple. So that's option B, okay? And our third option, option C. This is a humble brush, okay? That's actually my favorite, personally. And my number one recommended brand. And I'll tell you why. It's because it is made of 100% biodegradable bamboo. Do you want to look inside? Sure. Let me open it up for you. Oh, let me put this out of the way. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's called a Humble Brush. Alright, it's 100% biodegradable bamboo. Mm -hmm. and the bristles are uh, nylon, I think, but you can pluck them out and recycle those bristles. And this is 100% compostable. Very good for the environment, and it lasts a lot longer than the um, plastic toothbrush. Also, bamboo is um, the bamboo is actually uh, antibacterial naturally. So, yeah, I really like this one. Do you like it? What? Sorry. Oh, you prefer you prefer this one? Oh. What a shame. That's okay, I mean. You can definitely take this one home too. I mean, it's it's not my favorite, but I guess um, looks kind of cute. So I'll put that in the bag for you, no problem. All right, and uh, do you want a toothpaste as well? This one is Crest Pro Help Clean Mint, and this one is Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief, whatever that means. Uh, which one would you like? This one? Okay, sure. Sure thing. And, uh, I'm just gonna show you how to use this floss, okay? First you open it. And just put a cross piece like this. Okay. And then you're just going to wrap it around your fingers like that, and then you're going to floss like that, okay? That's in fact, in fact, I can show you how it works. Here you go. Okay, just uh, get right in there and floss your teeth for you. Yeah. Okay. You get the drill? Yeah, just like that. And you just kind of switch to another section and keep going. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put away all this garbage here. I'm gonna take this apron off of you. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Yeah, your apron got quite dirty from all the debris and water. All right, all right. Well, I'm just gonna throw that floss in there for you too. Make sure that you're flossing at least once a day, okay? And there you are. I hope you have wonderful holiday. Make sure to spend lots of time with your family, okay? Make sure to take care of your oral health. Brush your teeth twice a day. Floss once a day. Okay, don't eat too much sugar. Don't eat too many acids as well. Use a straw if you're ever drinking any sugary beverages, although you know you shouldn't be drinking any sugary beverages, okay? All right, I'm gonna go just uh, clean up here. You're welcome to stay as long as you want, all right? Okay, bye now. Take care now. All right. Uh, finally done. Let me get this to see, okay. I'm gonna clean up after some of this. Should have a new 
is quite a mess, isn't she? Yeah. That's all good. I can't believe they didn't make my humble brush if I passed them the best thing ever. That's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry, I wasn't talking about you. I'm just, just cleaning, muttering to myself. Don't worry, just, just go to bed, okay?